Uh, hey everybody, Brandon the Quack back here. Another unboxing today, something that I'm pretty excited about, to be honest. This is a little bit on the nerdier side of things that I do. Um, this is from a company called Zombie Smith. Josh Paul Terry is the, uh, the owner of that. I hope I didn't butcher your last name on that. It's for a tabletop game of little miniatures uh, called Quar. I heard of this a while ago, but this is a tabletop game that is pretty, pretty neat. Uh, so there's a couple different sites that you can use to order this stuff. Uh, War Games Atlantic, as well as um, his own site, Zombiesmith. So Zombiesmith.com, uh, to where I ordered from. And that's his personal site. So, so the world of Quar is very interesting, and it uh, it's kind of like Aardvarks. So this is uh, what it looks like. And there's a couple different versions of this game where they come out with um, six millimeter, 15 millimeter, and 28 millimeter. So I've kind of got a combo here of 15 and 28 millimeter pieces. Um, and actually the 15 millimeter and 28 millimeter games are pretty different as well. Um, currently for the 28 millimeter size, um, he came out with a different version essentially uh, called This Quar's War. And now it's impossible to talk. This Quar's War. And um, that's kind of like for the 15 millimeter side ish. Um, but then there's a Clash of Riflers. And that's kind of like a smaller game mode for the 28 millimeter side. So the bigger stuff, it's a smaller game mode. You, you can play with a pretty small amount of miniatures, which is pretty cool. You know, the rules, it only lasts three rounds. So. Um, and then you, you assign points based on that. So it's not going to be like Warhammer where you're playing total destruction or whatever for points to the end. There's, there's a thousand different ways, obviously you can play, but that's, that's this new one that came out that for the 20 millimeter side, there's pretty much two armies currently, and there's more coming out. The Kafirs, right? This is the Kafir, Kaf, Kafgrin, um, infantry. And this has like a very big war two. I almost think like also Vietnam War era kind of stuff as far as the outfits, um, all the tanks, contraptions, all that cool stuff. And then you have the Crusaders. Um, you're gonna find people that are pretty one side or the other. I, I So far I'm leaning towards Crusaders, I think. Um, I know there's a lot of um, Kofters as well. A lot of people are pro Kofters, so. What I got so far, one infantry on each side, and these will be plastic models, and we'll go through it. We'll go through like the little too, and painting, if it does okay. Right. So these guys are all bits and bobs, all on plastic screws. Um, nothing too special. All right. So he also has a line for the six millimeter and 15 millimeter stuff. Um, it's got a lot of metal stuff as well as the 28, but it's older. So he's, he's going to plastic for a while. So, um, you know, this is the smaller stuff we got here as opposed to the six versus 15. So just as a thing, these will be the same tractors, but they're different scales. So this is the base, and that's what they, they call their tanks, tractors. Um, and some look more like tractors than others. So this will be the six millimeter size tractors. And this will be the, I can find the top for it, the 15 millimeter size, just real quick. The six millimeter also has its own total rule set. Um, where it's kind of all different. So six millimeters is great for quite a few things um, where you're going for either large scale things, right? Where now we're not looking at like the squad level, but you're looking at like army size stuff. It also helps if you, if you don't want to have a large footprint, if, if you can't physically or don't have the space for a lot of stuff, you can get six millimeter and it doesn't take up a lot of space. 15 either. So again, here is a 28 millimeter, that's a body. Here is a 15 millimeter. You can essentially play the same rule set, but if you don't have a lot of space, you can play with that 15 millimeter army. Um, like I said, there are three different rule sets. You can download them off of his website, Zombie Smith, for free. Um, he does provide those PDFs for free. So I thought that was pretty cool too. Um, so that's just kind of stuff. We have some of our uh, tractors on both sides. So this tractor right here is for um, the Crusaders, um, I've kind of noticed if it's a little bit more all about being round as opposed to square, that's probably on the copter side. So these are two different tanks, uh, both 15 millimeter. 
and they're both on the cofter side as far as that kind of stuff goes. It's got a couple different rule sets, like I said. He's expanding to them, adding all rules and whatnot to that as well. Um, I think it'd be interesting to kind of do a um, all tank version. You know, if you're doing all vehicles or all something else where, where now it's not necessarily squad on squad combat, but maybe vehicle combat. So um, that would be something possibly in the future as well. So these will still require some assembly, um, but there will be obviously, uh, you know, I'll still have to find a paint and all that good stuff. And again, for a frame of reference, same tank, 28 millimeter, 15 millimeter, six millimeter. So again, uh, just to show complete size comparison, if you're gonna try to make a full army, these guys do take up some space, especially if you're gonna have some armor. So just something to keep in mind. Um, they do have a lot of really fun looking characters and I'm glad that he's able to kind of get away from the metal, even on some of these where, possibly wasn't uh, able to be done and he's kind of got them printed out um, from himself so he, he this is a one-man show he prints all this stuff himself he designed them all did all this good stuff um, obviously did people help him but but it is I believe currently a one-man show so these are Fidos let's see if we can get them up here little dogs little tiny doggies you get a whole range of stuff you get Calvary and these are all you know 15 millimeter stuff yeah, just kind of really excited to be able to get out here, paint, and then hopefully play some of this stuff. These minis are pretty neat. Very clean looking. Pretty cool concept. I do encourage you to go look it out. Or look it out. I do encourage you to go check it out. Um, again, that's either War Games Atlantic or um, you can go straight through um, zombiesmith.com. Z-O-M-B-I-E-S-M-I-T-H.com. And it's a pretty neat little... Uh, Pretty neat little thing. I think he put a lot of heart and imagination into it. Whole backstory and a lot of lore back into these countries that uh, have been feuding for, for generations and centuries. And I guess the reason why it's kind of been lost to history, but there's a war to fight and they're gonna be fighting it. So uh, very kind of World War II-ish esque, uh, but again, it, it kind of borrows from everything. World War One, World War II, uh, etc. So. I'm pretty excited about this. I'm gonna be building some of this stuff, hopefully showing it off on this channel as well. Um, just because it's something that interests me. I enjoy it. So I'm ready to quack back. It's gonna be a quick one. And uh, thanks for joining me today. Go check it out.